For 20 years, storage architects have used replication, like mirroring, and erasure codes, used in RAID 5 and 6, to protect data. But recent advances in erasure code math have given us exciting new options. I'm looking at how AmpliData uses these advanced codes to offer exceptional redundancy with low overhead and high performance. All erasure codes break data into n fragments, then transforms these fragments into n plus one or more pieces. The key benefit? Only n fragments are needed to reconstruct the data. Add more fragments to get any level of redundancy. For example, in a 7 plus 1 RAID 5, the data is broken into 8 fragments, one of which is parity, and any 7 of the 8 fragments recreates your data. Unlike RAID 5 or 6, AmpliData's rateless erasure coding doesn't keep disks in a RAID group. Data fragments are distributed intelligently across the infrastructure. Here's Paul Speciali, VP at AmpliData, to outline the architecture. So how does an object get stored in AmpliStore? So an application is going to send us some kind of object that they want to store. An object is a file, typically. It can be a media file, it can be a document. It's sent to a controller. The controller receives it over one of the interfaces. It can be a REST interface or an API, a language API call. It ends up on the controller, which runs the bit spread encoder. The bit spread encoder takes the object and first segments it into subchunks. The encoder takes that and transforms every one of those objects into a representation of the object. So it's some calculation, uh, i.e. the equation that we talked about. So what's the output of the encoder? The output is thousands of equations that represent the original source data that you sent me from the application. The encoding process is key. Let's see how this works with a much simplified example. We'll store the number 75. We'll split it into fragments, 7 and 5, and send those to AmpliData's bit spread encoder. The encoder generates as many equations as needed for the desired redundancy. Here, we can lose any one of the three fragments and still reconstruct the data. Replication is storage intensive. Parity RAID drive rebuilds take days. Neither is suitable for the long-term storage of large amounts of active files. With AmpliData, 4x redundancy adds only 50 to 70 percent to the data volume. Each fragment is also checksummed for safety. Rateless erasure codes are storage frugal but computationally expensive, a problem AmpliData and Moore's Law have solved. Each AmpliData control node can encode at the rate of 750 megabytes per second, and the more controllers, the more bandwidth. What happens when a storage element, disk, node, or location, needs to be rebuilt? In a RAID system, a failed disk has to be rebuilt exactly as it was. Not so with rateless erasure codes. Only fragments needed to restore desired redundancy are copied to a replacement or hot spare node. AmpliData's secret sauce is their bit spread rateless erasure coding implementation, a product of over 100 man years of development used in over 1,300 deployed customer systems. Bit spread is fast, efficient, flexible, robust, and predictable. Rateless erasure codes offer data protection with lower capacity overhead, faster rebuilds, and more redundancy than traditional RAID systems. Add the scalability of object storage and commodity components, and it's clear that we are entering a post-RAID era. For Storage Mojo, I'm Robin Harris.